Okay, so I'm going to show you how to go ahead and set up your Google site for class. Um, if you will go to sites.google.com. Um, once you get to this site, actually, I should say first, you do need a Gmail account. Um, if you don't have a Gmail account, go ahead and do that and then watch this video in a minute. But once you're at Google Sites, you can see that I already have a few Google Sites. Um, you can probably have as many as you want, but go ahead and go to Create New Site. Um, you might find the urge to click on a classroom site if you think you're going to be a teacher, but for this class, it's going to be better to stick with the blank template. So go ahead and just, just keep that on blank template. And then name your site. Um, go ahead and for your name, choose your name and then followed by portfolio. Um, it can be your first, your last, or a combination. Also to keep in mind, um, go ahead and keep spaces in capital letters. It's not going to show up in the URL, but this is going to be the title of your page. And you, know, you don't want it to look funky. Portfolio. Okay, and then choose a theme. So go ahead and pick something that suits your fancy. You can always alter this later, so don't worry if you pick something you don't like. I'm going to go with Tron. Okay, you'll see this button for more options, but don't worry about that right now. Um, that's really a way, like, well, I'll show you since we're here. Um, it's a way for you to share with only people that you want to. Um, but we're going to go ahead and share this with everyone in the world. Okay. And um, go ahead and type in the code. And then click Create Site. All right. And you can see it brought me to the home page. Um, right now, that's all I have because it's pretty much a blank slate. Um, notice your navigation on the top right. It says create page, edit page, or more actions. Um, go ahead and click the edit page um, because we want to type something on our home page. This is the first thing people see when they come to your site. So I am going to ask you to, I've asked you to save a picture somewhere. So this is where you're going to insert the picture of yourself. Um, I'll talk about that in a minute. First, go ahead, and what I'm going to ask you to type on this page is a little bit about what you hope to learn this semester. At the very end of the course, I'm going to have you go back in and, and uh, revise that with what you have learned this semester. So type what you hope to learn this I can't type right now. Okay. And then... Once you're done typing, sorry, that was my phone. Once you're done typing, go ahead and click Save. You might have more to type, but we can always come back to this. Right now, we're just kind of getting the structure in place. So Save. OK. Um, we're going to be making two pages today, like I said, the home page. And then we're going to make an autobiography page, which we'll call About Me. So let's go ahead and click Create Page. All right, don't choose any of these templates. We're not going to be using these right now. Let's just stick with the web page. And then we're going to title this about me. Um, OK. Actually, let's, let's not do about me. Let's do autobiography. Make sure you spell this right, because there isn't spell check, and it would, you know, it is the title of your page. Um, there are two options here, put page at the top level and put page under home. Go ahead and keep it at the top level. That way it'll be one of our navigation bars. Okay, and then click create page. Okay, so now you can see we have our autobiography page. Notice how it opens it in edit mode. Okay, I could click save now, but we're going to type a few things, so don't do that yet. All right, so um, I'm going to have you write two or three paragraphs about yourself. Okay, and this can be maybe, you know, places you've traveled, um, interesting things about yourself, basically things you want others to know about you. 
Um, we are going to be sharing these in, in class on Monday, so make sure that you know it's something you want your classmates to see or, or that you just want them to know about you. Um, we're also going to be including two to three photos and two to three links. And I'm going to talk about the photos and links in just a minute. Um, so go ahead and click Save. Okay, and you can see that I, if I go back to the Home button, it has what I typed there, and this is my autobiography page. Um, there are ways to change the colors of the fonts and everything, but um, I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you're you know, really comfortable that it'll actually show up on the page. Um, so let me show you how to import a photo into your pages. So I'm going to go back to Home, and then I'm actually going to go to Facebook. Facebook's a great place to grab pictures. Oh, there's my page. Oh, that was... Okay. So here's some pictures of me from Halloween. Um, I could take more time grabbing them, but I'm just going to select one of those pictures. Make sure to, and I'm going to go back, don't, don't click on the thumbnail, because that's once we enlarge that, it's going to look re really blurry. So go ahead and open up the picture. And you're going to right click the picture, or if you have a Mac, you can do um, a control click. And we, we don't want to copy and paste the picture. We actually want to save the picture to our desktop. So go to Save Image As. And I believe it might say on a, a PC, Download Image As. We're going to Save Image As. And you don't have to worry about renaming it. Just save it on your desktop. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to my portfolio. And let's say that I want to put my picture before my text. I'm going to edit page. Okay, and I'm going to push enter. So I want my picture at the top. And then I'll go over here to where it says insert. Insert image. Okay, and I'm going to upload the image. So click browse. And I put it on my desktop. Where is it? So it's just going through all my, let's see, desktop. Oh, here we go. Okay, so here's the picture. So click it, and it's going to upload the image, and then click OK. Now, you'll notice the picture is really large, and, and this might be OK, but I'd suggest going with smaller medium, um, you know, just so it doesn't overwhelm the page. And if you want to align it, you can choose left center or right, but I'm going to go ahead and keep mine on the left. Um, and don't worry about the other things. Now if you click on the image, that blue bar, well never mind, it doesn't seem to want to go away. Oh, if I click off the image, the blue, blue bar goes away. If I want to make some more edits on the picture, I just click on the picture and it comes back up. So let's go ahead and click Save. Okay. And now I have a picture and I have my text. And if I want to go back and edit my page, I can type over what I've done. I can add to this. I always click Save at the end. OK. Um, let's go to Autobiography. Some of the things I asked you to include were links. So if I'm writing oh, Edit Page, if I'm writing my paragraphs and I say, you know, I attended the University of Georgia and I want to make a link and what I would do is I would highlight University of Georgia and I would click link okay and this is a web address so I'm gonna click web address and it's gonna tell me to put my link right here so let me go and find UGA and you might actually want to, you know, put a link to your actual department. Um, but I'm just going to do UGA for now. Copy the link. Paste it. And then there's this option to open this link in a new window. It's really nice when people are on your site um, to have the link open in another window so they don't leave your site. So click OK. Um, 
And this is where you would actually remove your link later. So let's say that I didn't want this link anymore. I can click over it and, and actually remove it. Okay, go ahead and click Save. And we want to make sure our link works. So let's go. There it is. It works. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, when you are embedding your links, don't don't do a thing like my favorite, you know, web pages are and start listing them. Actually, try to embed it into your paragraphs. Okay. And so on Monday, um, we're actually going to be presenting our our homepage and our autobiography page. So make sure you finish that up. And that is it.